the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Come on, that's disgusting. Hey, look out! We got no seatbelts back here! Well, you're late, late, late. That'd be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't it? Fair hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Attention, passengers! Please hold on to your... Just business shit, you know how it is. Hit me! Tell me that shit! 
No way! WTF?
you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition mm. it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. By right, let's go. What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We got to meet them in the air. I, uh, well, uh, okay. Well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right. Right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife, blonde hair, and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. There's Oscar's business. That's bringing cash in. My stake in Oscar's thing ain't under the TP conglomerate umbrella. I want my own grand success. It takes time. Time and money. Sure. And Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface, is gonna give that to me. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV.
me to put my nose into the dirt? Dick? right ahead of me. They're gonna use those weapons for no good, T. They'd be better in our hands. I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment and you've caught up to them? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald. Let's just get there first. That's all we're doing. Brother, I'm fine. 
Discord Do the I'm things that make bro. me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Discord link in my on my page, bro. Click on my page and you'll see the Discord. Control of this. Defend, Trevor. This is meant to be a restricted airspace. I'm plenty low enough, Ron. Crop Duster, just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather.
I will, bro. We got a cop in the co
Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down! I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Moron! Good lord of a... If it's a poorly maintained vehicle, probably not insured. <laughs> On the seat there. <laughs> you see that stain? Hot soft. Yeah, very suspicious. Smell any funny spices? I don't see the bot. Hey, give me documents. What? Passport, come on, you bad mom. I don't fucking understand you. Ah, you don't speak English. Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы, как один. И по гражданским арестам, ты понял? Америка страна возможностей. А я воспользуюсь возможностью. Послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen, just a training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert 
Sand! Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool! Hey, there's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи. Едут сюда работать по черному за копейки. Прут, прут в эту страну! It's a disaster! And that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! My Patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you. We've got some illegals over them hills. Come on, come on, you drive. You drive, let's go. Drive, get in the back. What's your name, citizen? I'm Joe, that there's Joseph. Trevor. Okay, Trevor. Well, it's saying we need to head for the Yellow Jack Inn. Oh, good. They love me in there. I'm definitely getting a strong reading. The Patriot Meter predicts undesirables with up to 79% accuracy. <laughs> Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real as it gets. These people are criminals who threaten our way of life and drive down our property prices. Они думают, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи. Это противоречит Конституции. Come one, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though, we'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. But well, now he's a happily married man with three children, and he rarely acts out. Hey, if you do well in your civil board at patrol trial, we will, of course, pay you for your time. Last time I looked, this was still a service-driven market economy. This I have to see. Here we are. No sign of illegals out here. Well, they must be inside. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. Is there any place in the world I'd rather be than drunk as a skunk at the Alamo Sea? I said to the wife, bitch, I'm going out for a snack. That was ten years ago, and I ain't been back. Oh, show me the way to... Oh, this is pointless. Everyone in here has done something illegal. Trevor, get out here now! They're in that car, let's go! Come on, Trevor! Go, go! Let's bring him in, boys! Here, take the stun gun! Really? Nobody needs to die here, we're civilized people. Hey, hey, you, stop the vehicle! This is a citizen's arrest! Well, of course they wouldn't understand me, now would they, Joseph? Они отказываются ассимилироваться! Singers, the worst of the bunch. You know, you can't take a subway in peace in Liberty City these days. Hold on to your pointed hats. We're taking the scenic route. They're on to themselves. Don't stop. Get after them. Some of these undesirables are trafficking illegal guns into our very, very peaceful country. Mm. Now who do a thing like that? Oh, yeah. Keep your focus, Trevor. Uncle Sam's dime. 
Перенаселение страны и осквернение коренного населения. Это не по-американски. Go subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun. You can't be in the civil border patrol if you can't use a stun gun. <laughs> Sorry about that, pal. Don't apologize to them. They're the ones breaking the law here. Okay. Hey, do what you say. Oh, very nice, Trevor. Respectful, but firm. We can handle it from here. Get in the vehicle. You pay it your fun. It's time to go home. Come on now. Some of us have to work for a living. Please, no more. I go with you. <laughs> we'll soon sober you up. Тебе смелости не хватит. Well, thanks for the help, citizen. America's a little bit safer because of you. Демократия за короля и страну. Sydney traffic, man. The great Los Santos pastime. Where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. he appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me.
They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus! Are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! At least get him a mask, or makeup, or something! What get the out of the jewelry to set off on this guy! Get him out! That I'm not ready! You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so what we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. 
He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit. But you're the brains, am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. I'm okay. Just running some errands while I have a little free time. Come on, move. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli. Mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle.
there's a fucking price on me and you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job. if I have to.
putting you out of business, motherfuckers. fools if I have to. Motherfuckers! Fuck with me, I'll lay all y'all ass down. are there. Any more, you 
bitches want to get in my way. He's here. Get the. Where's Enzo? Taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Oh my. Oh! Fuck, Frank! Man, oh. only 
inches. I still think I nailed it on take seven. I don't know if this is the right treat. Hey, Bev. Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot. You ruined the fucking shot. What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot. It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like... But what about my money? We're shooting a show here, trying to work. Hello? Or just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one. Please, we're shooting something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, where, now where were we? Uh, guys, do, do we have enough... ...shots of me jumping around the corner? One way or another. Give it up! This is getting way out of hand!
Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. 
It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there. You know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why will be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up. Then the skinny lattes. Then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> the bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. And no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Drive over to the empty lot with the open top dumpster in it. Deal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Services frequency, we have 
have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Molito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito radio, this is Polito car three. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running for the cop.
Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. I mean, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy Chef, okay? Consummate professional. That it? You sure? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, to yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Mm -hmm. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Motel. If he's back to Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. <laughs> no, Chuck. We can't deal with them yet. It's too many of them. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. 
Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Look at you go, man! Look at you go! Oh, shit! Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man! These motherfuckers crashed out! They crashed? They dead? Nah, they gone! They ran into the fucking woods, man! I need air support, like, right fucking now! Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Go! 
Good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. 